Hey, what is up Wolfpack? It's me, Cal here, and today I'm going to show you guys my best class setups for Cold War Zombies. Not only that, we have different play styles for classes, but we have best attachments for weapons. So, first off, I will mention, of course, I do highly recommend getting your skill tree upgraded so you can have more attachments on your weapons, as well as, um, you know, more powerful perks. You just unlock the crystals by playing, of course. So let's get into the classes here. I have a bunch of different classes, but first let's get into the attachments. Now, not all the attachments are going to be the same for all the weapon classes, but you, you'll get the idea from me doing it just on the ARs right here. So, the optic doesn't really matter. I prefer the Microflex LED. It's just the clearest and best looking for me personally, but that, I guess, it's subjective. You can use whatever you want really there. For the muzzle, I like to go with the FlashGuard 556 for an increased equipment drop rate and no cons at all. So you want to um, kind of put the same thing on every other weapon class, anything that can give you increased equipment drop rate without giving you cons. Basically, you want bonuses for drops and stuff without having anything bad attached to it. Now for the barrel, I prefer the Cavalry Lancer Barrel. It gives me increased armor damage, which is really good against the bigger armored enemies. And that kind of transfers over to other weapon classes for similar stuff as well. Now for the body, I like the mounted flashlight because that gives me increased salvage drop rate without actually giving me a con like the this one does. It reduces my sprint to fire time. And it doesn't exactly tell you if it gives you more or not, so I assume it's roughly the same. Now getting into the underbarrel, I prefer the infiltrator grip because it gives me plus movement speed, shooting movement speed, aim walking movement speed. You don't really need to worry about recoil as much in zombies, but more so about movement and getting around faster and being able to aim and walk and stuff like that so that's why i think this one is the best now into the magazine you're just going to want to get the biggest and fastest magazine usually the 50 round fast mag for most guns now for the handle i recommend the speed tape it gives you faster aim down sights time and that's really all you need compared to everything else around here you don't really need to drop shot zombies so you know what i'm saying all right, and for the stock, I recommend the tactical stock because that gives you an increase to aim walking movement speed. Like I said, movement matters a lot and nothing else really matters here because it's all sliding and shooting movement speed. I guess the bottom two is good, but it removes your hip fire accuracy and we don't want that. So I think the tax stock is best. So these are all the attachments for the ARs. I'm sure you can find similar ones in other weapon classes. Now let's get into the actual class setups. So for my casual, just playing for fun, I guess, and trying to use something different, I recommend the Energy Mine or the Frost Blast, just to try new stuff and have some sort of difference because a lot of the other classes are sort of the same stuff and I like to you know try new stuff out. So this is my casual class for that. Now for the Medic class, we have the Healing Aura, of course, because once you level that up, it'll actually revive your teammates when you activate it. So I have that class there purely for being a Medic when I play with friends or online. Next up is my Camping class. Now, of course, the Ring of Fire here is the best for camping. I also just, the, the weapons don't really matter what you start with. It ultimately matters what you end up with. But for the sense of camping... Obviously, you're going to be camping with an LMG, and the Ring of Fire increases your damage and is just awesome for camping. Trust me, you're, you're going to want that on. Now, getting into my High Rounds class, I call it the High Rounds class, but it's basically like solo or running around doing trains. I have a lightweight SMG kind of weapon, and the Aether Shroud, which allows you, if you're playing solo, to evade enemies, or if you get trapped by a horde while you're training, you can evade enemies as well. It's really nice. And then the final class I have here is for Easter eggs. Uh, Die Machine, it's really popular and really good to use. They're very powerful Spaz-12, so I just have that on there. And then I have Aether Shroud, because I actually think that is best. The Aether Shroud is just great at doing a multitude of things. You can go invisible to revive your friends, go invisible to escape. I just think it's the best, and that's why I have it there for Easter eggs, because it helps out a lot. Anyways, guys, these are five different classes for five different playstyles in Black Ops Cold War, along with the best class setup and attachments. Hope you guys enjoyed and found this useful. If you did, then be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more. Let me know if you guys would change anything in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.